Hey everybody! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I styled this 5x5 HD list closure wig from Charisse Hair Vault. The link will be pinned in the description as to how you can buy this hair. This wig is a 5x5 HD lace closure and I styled it on the side as a middle part. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it, what products I used, and again, be sure to check out Cherie's Hair Vault because this hair is amazing. Okay, so right here, I'm just showing you that when I placed my wig on my mannequin head, I placed it so that the closure was on the side of the head. This way, it's almost like one end of the closure touches where my ear would be, and the top part touches the middle of my head. And then so now I'm just gonna go in with my Chia leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna spray the hair all over and then I'm gonna blow dry it next. And so when I blow dry it, I'm just only focusing on getting those roots straight because I want the roots straight from the blow dryer. Already this is straight hair. And then I'm gonna curl the ends. That's why I don't focus on the ends. And then next I'm gonna take my hot comb and just push those edges back, leaving the parts that I want to be the baby hairs. And then I'm gonna go in and define my part and use my hot comb to also um, make it more neat. I also want to mention that when you buy this wig or any wig from Cherise Hair Vault, it comes with the knots already bleached and the hairline lightly pre-plucked. So you don't even have to do anything when you get it, just style it like I'm showing you in the video. However, you will have to cut the lace. Unlike a new wig um, where it comes with the lace, this wig has already been worn before so the lace is already cut. But let me know in the comments if you do want a video on how to cut lace on a brand. So when I'm done, I want the front of this wig to be exactly right. And it's just something about spraying a little got to be and putting an elastic band. Nothing else lays the wig down like it. I'm telling you ladies, trust me. So spray just a little bit of got to be glue at the hairline and then use your elastic band like I'm doing and place that down on your wig. If you already had the wig on your head, do the same thing. Spray the got to be glue put the elastic band around your hairline and just when you take it off at the end it's gonna be magic so i don't know if you guys would believe it if i told you all i had this wig for going on almost two years now the hair is amazing and so i'm just showing you right now how i always i always use my thermal protectant cream from design essentials every time i go in and style this wig i always want to use some type of protector on it since it is natural hair but the results speak for themselves. I mean, the hair is still absolutely gorgeous to this day. And so next I'm gonna take my um, curling iron. I just plugged it up and we're gonna get started with curling. So you can see that when I curl, I like to have the clamp down and then I like to curl away from the face. And so I curl all the curls in the same direction for this hairstyle and I stop when I get to the back of the head and then after I get to the back, I'm gonna change direction.
I finish one side, I move on to the next side and the other side just so happens to be the front containing the little swoop. And to achieve that, I just section out a part of the hair in the front. As you see, the part that I want to hang over in front of my face a little bit. And this time I'm curling with the clamp on top of the strand instead of the bottom. And then once I get that hump, I'm not gonna comb it out just yet because I want it while it's still hot to kind of be in that shape. So I'm gonna just comb the bottom out. But now I'm gonna mold the part that's gonna actually fall above my eye in front of my face. And so now the clamp is at the bottom of the strand and then I'm just gonna curl like so. So for the remainder of the curls, I'm gonna um, curl with the clamp at the bottom of the strand and again, curl away from the face. finished curling and I'm ready to remove my elastic bands so I'm gonna just remove them in the video and you about to see how laid it is it is so laid like ladies why aren't you shopping Cherie's hair vault yet yeah check them out immediately this is HD lace and this is what happened when you spray got to be glue on the HD lace and you use the elastic band you still could get this look with hair mousse though. Sometimes I'll do that, but it just stays longer with the got to be. It's just better. And so like once you take this mannequin, I mean this wig off the mannequin head, you can put it directly on your head and now it's gonna look glueless. You don't even have to wear um, glue because you've already molded the front with the got to be glue. But look at how amazing that looks. Like that's perfect. And so I'm just gonna play with the front until I get it the way I want it to be. And then for any baby hairs, a trick is, because <laughs> if you don't know how to do baby hairs the same way I don't know how to do baby hairs, this trick will save your life. So you take the curling iron and you just curl your baby hair. 
and it automatically puts it in place. And so I'm about to show you how to do that right now. So now I have my baby hair sectioned out. I did that before I even placed my elastic band and sprayed my got to be. And I'm just gonna take my curling iron now and do my baby hairs. Just curl it and it's gonna make the shape, it's gonna hold it. It's gonna be like a guide for how you should swoop it with your edge control or mousse or whatever you're using to mold your baby hairs. And so normally if this was on my head, I would just use my edge control and shape it down but I'm gonna just leave it for now just for demonstration purposes so I can move it to the mannequin later alrighty so now your baby hair is in place and during this time I would take my curling iron and just refresh any spots that weren't right if there's any curls that fail I will recurl it during this moment and then I will finish everything up with some finishing spray and just to add a little bit of oil sheen sometimes I'll use this serum and I'll just place it down at the front of my hair, like the top, but I won't place it where the actual curls are because heavy oils and serums, they actually make car curls fall. So I would spray setting spray there and that way it'll keep it like humidity resistant and things like that. Now it's time to place the wig on a mannequin head or place it on yourself. And one tip that I like to use when I place side parts, I like the part to start where the arch of my eyebrow is. So I usually use those as a guide to measure it up and it always looks right every time. And so after this, you just manipulate it to be the exact way that you want it. I'm just playing around with the front until it looks right. So just like that, we didn't add any more glue. We didn't add any more spray. We just transferred it to the mannequin. And you could do the same on yourself or your own head and look at how flawless it's gonna be. Just walk out the door popping. That's how you'll be, cause you're wearing Cherie's hair vault. <laughs> but yes, I hope you all decide that it wasn't that hard and it was easy to follow. And I hope you all decide to recreate this look. And if you do, Tag me on Instagram at Cherise Hairball. I would love to see it and repost you. And with that, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a good day.